Alrighty, it's time to finish up our preparations to go and face the Overlord. So I'm going to check real quick here in Kim Device Dome. Kim here is going to say... Oh my god, a Beomon! I'm just kidding. No. Hey, I'm out of the... My guy had disappeared and disappeared with the weird girl, yes. And I have with me here on this luscious occasion some co-commentary. Yes, Shadow Sign two three two here, and we have Azrael. Hello. Alrighty, so next up is we head to the shuttle port with some epic music. And please don't mind the slurping in the background because I am drinking a soda. Yep, so now the shuttle actually took off and we got this teleport pod here to go yoink. Alrighty. The final domain, Chaos Tower. Chaos Tower is extremely volatile as well as the fact that the first few floors it's nothing full of nothing but danger and traps. Oh wow. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, you may want to lower oh, it a little bit. You might want to lower it a little bit more. I, I didn't lower it. I closed it. <laughs> uh, no, you didn't. Hold on one second. Yay! Oh, there's the metal Greymon. Alrighty, so I have with me here Lord Omegamon, Guardian and Oblivion. But I messed up the actual line up here, so... We're set to go. Landmine be gone. Yeah, so just make sure that there is no traps over there. That sounds like a really delicious soda. Trap can Did easily I... be... And another drill missile. So, so it makes us up to nine drill missiles and three magna missiles. So we are kind of in the down here. guys' favorite Digimon in this game. Mine is obviously the Grand Kuwagamon line, obviously the Kudamon line, and the Vmon line. I haven't hidden it at all in my Let's Plays. Uh, let's see here. It's hard to bring it down to an actual single line, but believe it or not, if I had the chance, if I joined the Gold Hawk, started all off, I went straight for a Gigimon. Is Gigimon even available in this game? Yes, he is. He's actually part of the uh, Snow Agumon line. And he's really? Only, yes, he's exclusive to only to the Snow Agumon line, being the line being Snow Agumon, Mojimon, Monzimon, then Gigimon. That's an awkward line, but hey, I'll take it. And now I know what to get him now, but I have to get my DP up apparently. Yes, your DP has to be within the realm of 3 to 5 in order to get Mojimon. Lovely. Yep, so the, the first two floors we literally went through all pretty much, if not close to all of our exhausted amounts of bombs. And ooh, and Akuamon just ambushed us. Now, the wonder about Gigimon is... He has a nice move that is used for long dungeon runs. It's the Hung of Death. It's a revive. You revive when you're poisoned. Yep, it revives you when you're KO'd. But bad side is you get poisoned. Yep. Looks like we're done with the trap floors, or it looks like it. So we're just gonna move on. Oh nope, I had it completely wrong. 
I didn't think I'd burn through all my Magnezone, so I may have to take a return trip. Okay. Woo! Back on mine, level up. Yeah, it's looking like I'm gonna have to come back again. Well. That's one thing I have, one qualm I have about this game is that you have to make return trips if you screw up multiple times. Yep, obviously I didn't have enough Magna Missiles on me and it kind of worked against me here. And I'm hoping that the floor panel is somewhere within this vicinity here. If it's not, I'm in trouble. I am before it's behind a bunch of blocks and a mag spore. Uh, the problem is, is there's one more section I can actually reach before it decides to go a wall on me, and uh, I gotta backtrack up to where this Mamemon is. No, that's no Gigimon's my preferred for vaccine right now. For data type, it would be Rosemon. Don't you have a certain amount of fuel in that game? Yes, you do. You actually have EP in the game, or energy points, and when you run out, you pretty much got to pay the piper a thousand bits just to get a new sucker in. Yeah. Right now, I'm currently tanking at a full 3,800 EP max. Currently, just about at 3,400. And the floor panel... Uh, yeah, the floor panel is unfortunately not here. I gotta backtrack and use up another spore. Go ahead, uh, Omni Chaos. No, I was just saying, so you got enough to basically traverse this dungeon for a while. Yeah, I'm good. Yep. The only time I'm gonna need a bigger battery is when I end up going into post domains. Sure. Which, believe it or not, I will be doing it later on. But I'm gonna need some yes. serious prep work for that. And my gosh, I still can't find the floor panel. We may do a versus run against uh, each other for who gets the Terra Domain the le first, the bottom of it. Yeah, but you yeah. definitely need to raise your A game and get <laughs> here sooner. Yeah, no kidding. It didn't just freeze, did it? Oh, good, no. <laughs> yeah. Looks like it froze for a second. Then. All right, so you're watching via sharing right now from our Skype conversation, right? Yeah. Yeah, right now this floor is pretty much a big troll and see there's another segment of the floor. Have you tried looking in that one pathway in the one room that goes to the left up there? Uh that leads up to a dead end. That one the room with the very leftmost square room. There's there no way it that is. goes left out there. Yep, he found it. Okay. Oh no, Unimon! Oh yeah, Unimon is uh, another good vaccine type to have. It would be the Skull Mammothmon. Because it has the... Wait, s Unimon? Skull Mammothmon, which is the Taparmon, so Tapirmon's line. Oh, but don't you need to get Unimon's DP is up as well? No. Unimon is basically 0 to 2. Hmm. Confused the heck out of me when I was a kid. All right, so now we're oh. okay. So we're on the fourth floor of Chaos Tower, and we are in Trapville. And oh, jukebox Gyromon. Can we get a row of thumbs for who remembers this? Uh oh, static. Neo, your mic. Oh, come on. Oh my god, that noise. Oh, it's Patrick. Yeah, I'm trying to fix it. Oh, wow. I don't know why, but my entire computer is either lagging or getting ready to freeze up. So I might have to end the call. Oh, that's not good. Or Zach, yeah, either one. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Oh, here's the Phantom on. Yeah, 
In terms of damage, I think Ikakumon's Harpoon Torpedo seems to do a lot of damage. Like, medium amount of damage, like 20 to 30. It's it's also dependent on the actual attribute system and your base stats. Mm -hmm. So it looks like I'm through the worst of it for now. I'm hoping that that last Magna Missile will actually get me through the next 13 floors here. Because yep. now it's just taking me through staircase after staircase. And there's a boatload of traps. Ah, empty again. Oh, memory bug, level 3. And that was a hidden bug, too. Oh, here we go. Well, here's the two-stepper here. Marine Devemon with Dragomon and Royal Siegemon. Yeah. I'm not going to be able to run them, but I can still get what's in the treasure box. Drill Missile level 5. I can actually use those to get through some shortcuts. I'm gonna have to restart, so when are y'all gonna close it? Yeah, it's, it's fine. fine. Alright, then please wait a moment. See if we can get our commentary back. I'm here. Okay, we got our commentary back. I believe so. Okay, Although so it's probably just you, me, and Neo Tails now. That's probably fine. Uh, let's see here. Get this up for Neo to see here real quick. That's a dead end. That's a dead end. So even with an A rank uh, minesweep, you still can't see all the dang all the dang uh, mines and stuff. What happened to the call? Uh, Patrick had to restart his computer. I managed to uh, make it turn off without doing it. Yeah. Now I can't hear my game audio, so I actually have to uh, tweak my sounds here. I don't know why I can't hear it. No there we go. The call restart. Yeah, it's because the call restarted. All right. Well, all right. I got my audio back, and shucks, it's in the top right section. I just got trolled like three times. I opened the treasure box, three of them, and I got empty boxes. Yeah, that happens a lot. Alright, mag missile level five, that's gonna help me. Oh sweet, I lucked out. It's the it's the confusing room. Because what we would have to face would be Oh. <laughs> Remember when I said I needed the Metal Seedrum on in order to get the Metal Guru on? Yeah. Yeah, it looks like that's gonna be a big fat new. No. Alright, it's this floor again. This is a return. It's not a return, but I don't want to risk it. Oh wow! I need to use a I need to use an MP driver so I'm on my Mega Dramon because he's running out of freaking MP. Yep. It's too bad too because it would have been really nice to DNA digivolve him with uh, the next um, upcoming uh, user for from the Trade Center, which, uh, if memory serves, it was we're supposed to trade something of the Mega level. In order to get Machine Dramon after post game. You wanna know what the most bad move is that uh, Tsukaimon has when paired with a counter attacker? Yep. Go ahead, throw it. Basically, it'll trigger the counter attack and it won't hit Tsukaimon. Yep, that's the best bet if you're using uh, s Smiley Bomb and. Uh, Especially combination with Smiley Warheads, which is a nasty hits all enemies harder. And I totally went 
too far. The wrong way. Actually, yes. Definitely went the wrong way. Yep. It's probably in that left. I knew that was gonna happen. Oh well, it's a domain. Oh, we're at the thou. It's pretty much the tenth floor, and we ate a thousand here. Wow, my freaking Ikakuman misses attack again. Yeah. I, I seriously laugh every time I hear his name. It's just it was ridiculous to go on name ever. Oh, here's the Skull Mammoth Mon, but it's not the one I'm looking for, so it looks like it's actually on the other side. It may be in the middle. Okie dokie, so... So the next one I run into, I want to fight it, for one specific reason. I used the EXP chip that I won from the Rank 9 tournament to give Omnimon that extra thousand where he had only 700 to level up. The bad thing about it is, is that you need to literally fight. Yep, it's not like. Why? It... Oh, here it is. Okay. There's, there's the floor panel, and it's right there with tall, dark, and gruesome. Wow, my, what the hell? Is... I'm getting a giant error. I have to literally log out now. Wow. Aww. We'll miss you. It's not that. I think. My Win32 just stopped working. Oh. Uh -huh. That's what happens when you have a late copy of Windows. <laughs> God damn it. Oh, look, you can see Omnimon's head. Okay, so let's just finish these guys off real quickly. Magna Angemon has the uh, HP recovery, which heals all people by 150 points each. The Mammoth Mod here has the Tusk Slamming, or the Tusk Crusher. Yay, I'm confused. When do you not? Let's see how powerful this move really is. Redbreaker. 82 damage for a, vi for a virus type move, not too bad, and it took out one of them. Here comes Fist of Fate. Does 12 damage. Uh -huh. Here comes the Tusk Crusher. You ain't got nothing on me. <laughs> really? How many Numamons does it take to screw in a light bulb? Uh, enough to fill up one Monjimon suit. Exactly, I just encountered another Numamon group. You know, Numamon would be fine if they actually implemented the actual Digimon World 1 line. Mm -hmm. Wait, Numamon had a line in that game? Yep, if you actually had Numamon and if you had trained it up properly, then you could have actually Digivolved him to Monjimon legitly. And he learns Terraform, so I want to get rid of Nova Blast. Because no point having champion move. Run away! So basically, now I have my Transcendent Sword and my Garuru Cannon impersonation. Yes. All right, now we reach the aqua floor, also known as the fridge floor. Fridgy floor? Yep, because you have different sections and they're all water elements, so it's pretty much called the fridge floor. The fridge that's poorly plugged in floor. Yeah, pretty much. After all, somebody keeps the doors open on all four sections here. The last section has a 75% chance of having a treasure box. And it's the chandelier floor. Hey, for SESI domain during the first Blood Knights thing, will it be virus or vaccine or data? It's gonna be a multitude of all three. There's Boltmon. Well, I'm gonna put Ikakumon and... Let's see, Davidramon. Actually, no, I'm gonna keep Kawagamon and then Wizardmon. Uh... Actually, no, I'm gonna put Wizard... I'm gonna put Davidramon in there for the friendly fire. 
Okay, so you now we got. That friendly fire. <laughs> to, tr to trigger my counter attack? Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, so this floor will always pretty much have the electro spore on this side. Haven't came to this area yet. Ends up having a treasure chest most of the time. But this is what I want to call the garden floor because it's all grass panels and it all branches out into different sections, just like a flower garden. Sunflora flora. Pretty much. And I, got, I got like a I have like a one in four shot of being able to do this right. And oh yeah, you can recruit a war Greymon here with the Panjamon, which can have enough. Uh, Oh no! What just happened? Um, pretty much ran into a hidden return bug, and we just lost our Piedmon. Oh, that's not good. We gotta take care of this problem here. I just paralyzed the Tsukai mine. Okay, so hold on a second. I have some return bugs on me. Whew. I'm just glad I didn't take one of my main team, otherwise I'd be in deep trouble. Would you look at that? First try, and I got the four panel. Yay. Wow, that took a lot of Wizard Mon's HP. Alright, now we're in the dark floor. Whoo-hoo, first panel right there, and there's no other digis. Crap, I'm probably gonna have to run from this battle now. Alright, now, welcome to the machine floor. Because it has the radioactive octave ooze in. Oh, uh, good. yep. He ain't staying still. Who, what? Uh, ran into a Metal Seedramon, Prosecchiomon combination, and here's a Double Boltmon. Oh, yeah, I hate Double Bolts. Maybe we're bolts. You want to know what the weirdest attack is in this game? Party time. Indeed. This is an attack called fun time. <laughs> oh, ran right into that one. Now, bolt bonds are actually a bit more overpowered here on this game because the uh, their throwing tomahawk actually hits all enemies. Ah, the tomahawk steiner, I like to call it. Now we have to go through an extra run here. You're dangerously low on points. Just letting you know. What points? Oh, my my EP. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I mean, I'm almost there. Necro magic is one of the use most useful skills I have ever seen. Useless or useful? Useful. useful I thought you said useless. I said useful, damn it. Uh huh. Treasure chest is can be easily be displaced and oh, empty. Yeah, I'm starting to hit the um. And there it is, and it's another boltmon. What is Sand Yamamon's assist again? Um, it's, um... Uh, Ed can, uh... Stun Ray, I believe? Yeah, yes, it's the Stun Ray, which adds paralysis effect, uh, parameter on attacks. I remember doing that in my last playthrough of this. It wasn't on YouTube, but I pl played through this quite a bit, and I use that so much. I Paralyzed bosses is allowed in this game, but confusion and motivation is not. Yep. Uh, we're back to another one of these staircase floors, but we are getting close to the end. Yay. It's the end of the floor. There's the Skull Mammoth Mon and Hercules Kabuteri Mon combo again. Damn it! The paralysis got cured on Rare Mon, so now I'm gonna get confused! Let's see here. One. Two. Three. Come on, small heart. Alright, small heart, let's take him out. Wait, small hearts will work? Uh, it rarely does, but at the same time, I've seen miracles happen. 
That actually happened to me one time with a Beomon. Well, not a Beomon, but a uh, Gabumon that had an Om or Baihumon on it. Yep. Lovely, I went the wrong way. Yep, so I get the I get the show off Terra Force, also known as the Garuru Cannon. Woohoo, 87 points. Terra Force is a good solid attack that only consumes 40 MP. Yep. Oh, oops, I clicked the wrong move. <laughs> I meant dual scissor claw, I went to X scissor. Okay. Not gonna be a bad thing, is it? Um, I... It's basically, it's a powered up version of Crimson Claw. I believe I went the wrong way and yeah. Ouch, man, they st Oh, 45 damage. Man, these guys hit hard. Yeah, Digis in Chaos Domain are extremely more powerful than their predecessors in other domain. Wow, just wow. I went through the entire domain only to get to the last floor with a big rock and I don't have a freaking missile. Ah, yep, yeah, that's, um, that's interesting. I always tend to have at least like three or four. Hoosh. Dang it, Nappa. You missed your opportunity there. I mean, like this? Poof. Yes, like that. Are you, who are you trying to befriend in that group? I'm trying to go for the Hercules Kabuterimon. Why are you killing both of them? Oh no, I'm lowering it. Uh, Hercules Kabuterimon has a higher defense stat than the Skull Mammothmon here. Oh, nice. On top of that, he has an extremely powerful ult uh, Mega Interrupt, which has the uh, capability of making your opponent miss. The only problem I have with that is that it can't use, be used in boss fights. Yep. No, that and Venom, in, uh, Venom Infusion, which is Mala Venom Myotismons. You almost said Mallows. <laughs> I know, I caught myself. Yep, and there's the Giga Scissor Claw, and that has a chance of making my moves miss. Like that. It's a really high chance, if you ask me. And what does Venom Infusion do, exactly? It basically makes your opponent skip their attack. Oh, wow. That's overpowered. I'm glad they kind of made it not good in uh, boss fights. Yep. Yep, and he decided not to do it this turn, so I got him down. And a victory pose. Does he join? Nope. Oh well, I tried. Aww. I know, it would be nice to have that big bug guy. Oh no, not again. Uh, another return bug just popped on me and it came out of nowhere. And you are just having the worst luck with return bugs. I'm actually having good luck because I've st I still have my uh, three mains on here. It just took my Imperial Dramon away. Oh, wow. Oh, actually, how many do I have left on my team? Oh, yep, basically, Bahu's still with me, Omni, Diaboro, Rose, and Magna Dramon. That, my friend, is why I do not like return bugs. Yep, and here's uh, Puppetmon if you're looking to get... Um... Actually, uh, I want to get a Metal Edamon. So let's see if uh, it'll let me here. The Puppet. best part about Puppetmon is that he doesn't run away. Or he does run away, he doesn't attack you. Yeah, we, uh, we call it uh, Pacifist, Digimon. We have aggros and pacifists. Okay... If you knew what pacifist meant, you might understand it more. Of course. Alright, so Anywho. I got, got into a middle, middle heart. He ignored the toy plane. All right, we got a big heart, so now we have a chance. Great. Did you already? Get oh great? no, not again! Oh, oh no, he took he took Lord Omnimon away. Oh, well, folks, you're Lord in for a. Oh no! Well, oh. oh wow, this is gonna be extremely fun. That's because you have a data 
another data type on your team. Uh, except for this little factor, I have Fire Tornado, which is a vaccine type move. Nope, it's actually, I've noticed something about the moves and what Digimon has them. It still aligns to your attribute. 66, 68, and 67. So what happens is that if you uh, use a uh, Digimon, like say Ikakumon, and have like a data type Floramon's attack, it'll still count as a vaccine type. I've tested this and it's true. We're about to find out here. I just fired up the fire tornado. Poof. Told ya. Ooh, did more damage than I thought it would because it's not uber powered like my other guys. Oh, here's the assist. Banana, banana slip. Banana slip. What does it do? Well, oh, I'm always wondering what it does. It makes your opponents miss their turn, but that's only if they haven't attacked yet. Ow! This is gonna hurt. Oh, that's gonna hurt. Damage? Yeah, that was over a hundred points. With two attacks? Yep. Okay, so Damn. next up what I want to do is... Energy Blast. Dual Scissor Claw. And Mega Heal. Crimson Claw? Enemy stream blah. I like the fact that Crimson Clock can has a chance to poison, confuse, or stun foes. Unfortunately, it's a bit bugged. It it has the effect rendering, but it doesn't pull up the actual effect. Mm, it did for me. It just it doesn't show it on the attack. Dang it, it didn't attack my uh, counter-attacker. And it's 150 re-increase. You wanna know what Digimon I kept getting over and over in Digimon World 1? Well, does it happen to be Tyranomon? No, nope, Metal Mamemon. I don't know, that one was kinda hard for me to get. I kept getting it like three or four times in a row. But then Megaton, I Punch. Megaton Punch was actually pretty powerful on it. Alrighty, so now then, it's time to actually pick these guys apart one by one. Alright, quick question. Penguin Mon line. Uh, that would actually be ending up towards, um, Marine Angemon. That might actually be good, because Marine Angemon lowers motivation on all the Digis, or just one? Just one. And again, it can't be used in boss battles. Alright, so, uh, Drat, it didn't take him out. What oh. Digimon is the easiest to get for Plesiomon? That would end up having to be... Zudomon. The Kakamon line? Yep, the Gomamon line, all the way through. Oh, nice. Oh, there's Concert Crush. I was waiting for that. And here comes another X Scissor Claw. Gee, yikes. They're all targeting that weak one. Tell me about it. Did L Rosemon get killed yet? Nope. But here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna guard. Pull up Necro Magic. Oh, it only took out Lord Fire Tornado. It, it took out Fire Tornado. I have no idea how much damage that's gonna do, so let's surprise me. He just stuck his arms out like, cut you off. Motivation back. Come on, 30. No, 49. Just enough to take that bug out. Banana split! Yeah, banana split only works if A, you're faster than the ones that have already, that have not attacked. Does no effect if you have already attacked. 
I'm gonna fire off another Necro Magic and. What? What I want to do is get a list of every Digimon obtainable in this game and their lines. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to do though. Yeah, I just did this just by memory, and uh, it was already hard enough remembering about half the stuff. Now then, there's actually a second Digimon that actually has revival, and that would be Phoenixmon. And that one is a pain combined with Seraphimon. Yep. All right, like, we... seriously, Dark Side Attack does not work on Seraphimon's healing skill for some reason. And Metal Mimemon has joined us. Metal Mimemon? Metal Etemon. She... Why did I hear Metal Mimemon? I don't know, so now we need a cool nickname for him. Uh... Call him Metal Monkey? I don't know. Let's see here. Heavy. Elvis Ape. Uh, let's see here. Actually, you know what? I need to befriend a Dokunamon. Uh, let's see here. Um, I had the, I had the name on the tip of my tongue here. It was uh. Yeah, okay, I'll do that one. Uh, heavy... Heavy metal? Nope. That's... Okay, I was gonna say, you be stealing my Metal Greymon's name, you... Little. Heavy... Nope. Heavy MC. <laughs> okay, before I do anything else, I have not forgotten about the fact that I am being eaten away by a return mug. I've made that mistake so many times. Okay, let's take a quick look at Metal Edamon here, and... Believe it or not, that's some solid stats. Are stats randomized? Um, no. Right there, Trips All Resting Enemy, which is basically... It's... it goes by the actual amount of power. Alright, it's actually by not by power. Uh, resting Digimon recurs if they're considered resting if they haven't attacked. Or are they or if they're guarding, right? No, they're that too can also no, it's if they haven't attacked. Huh. Okay, so now I gotta get rid of Kibahuman Man uh, Diaboro. If I run into one more of those, I'm gonna be really insanely mad. Forty-five solid damage. Well, it means I'm not going to be fighting with Lord Omni, apparently. There's another Metal Seedramon I can't do anything about. That thing's just trolling you, isn't it? I know. Tell me about it. Wow, I stupidly stepped on a landmine that was visible, and nothing was damaged. Neat. Because I'm using a keyboard. All right, let's see what's in this box. All right, this is it. Floor 19. Unable to move straight. <laughs> able was able to get into the damn uh, floor portal quite easily. And wow, the effect actually got removed by moving to the next floor. All right, here we go. This is the last floor, everybody. have there before going into the battle it's a great time to use one of the max drivers this is gonna be one heck of a fight so let's get going two-part fight to be exact I am the being of thoughts I am the ultimate organism 
It's the Overlord Gaia, which is basically that little 10 piece of trash that we saved and got all those parts. The ungrateful thing. It's this thing. Matrix ID number 27. Yep, so we're a number. Welcome to the institution. <laughs> Beat the power, the Chaos Series Digimon, born and bred of the environment that... Yeah, so... Yeah, Matrix ID 04XY, and that's... Chaos Germine. Yep, so is the surviving organism the most powerful one in this digital world. Yep, he's a process of the experiment. And here's the final stage. Basically, he wants to merge with us in order to become the actual ultimate being of thought. He's like, yeah. I will be almighty! Yeah, right. And Numi One will take a bath. Not if I can help it. I love that little pun right there. All right, Lord Omni's not w is not with us, but he gave us the strength of the Sovereign. So this is Overlord Gaia, Stage One. And we also have the strength of the Destroyer of Networks. Yep. So this guy is a nuisance. There's just. Go ahead. Yeah. There's no point discussing. This guy is a nuisance. Watch out for the counter. Yeah, this guy is a nuisance. Lower his defense as soon as possible and get ready to start healing spamming. Unknown attack, so here comes the... Fantastic bomb! And it doesn't do that much damage at first, but wait until you start part round two. Yep. Beast King Fist. That attack <laughs> is just interesting. It's overpowered against the Guardians, especially if you're up against that Falcon one. Against the Guardian? Oh yeah, they use the HP laser, half your HP is gone. Guess what? Now you pretty much got full, almost full HP damage. Boom. Alright, so on top of that, there's no healing in between battles, so I want to conserve my strength as much as possible. Alright, so now we can do quite a bit of damage against this guy. Now here comes another random attack. I love how enemy Digimon can just step on traps and not get hurt by them. Yep. Here comes another Fist of the Beast King. Alright, now we're ready to go for All Out. No, corn buster, just to show it off. That's randomized. Would you ever have access to the uh, ungettable attacks like blind attack? Only through game hacking. And that did a lot of damage. Yep. Now here's the thing. Don't get too comfortable. We got experience in bits for that, but this isn't the end. This isn't the end! I am the most powerful. The most powerful. He's going out of control. Everybody, run! Is it still capable no, no, of fighting? No. The ultimate. I ultimate. I ultimate. All right, here we go. Phase two, which is basically this is Gaia Overlord in his release form. Basically, now he has two arms, and the two arms can be a nuisance. So, you if might you have, want to focus on the right arm. If you that's have the one that can lower defense. Yep. So if you have all lowering, then start start spamming. Oh, 
really. Here comes the left arm. No, that's the right hand. Yeah, that did quite a bit. There we go. Here's the assist from the left arm. My attack power just got decreased. Here's the unknown attack. Yeah, release form Gaia is a lot stronger. All right, we got the stats nearly down. So I'm gonna go in. I'm going in for an X Scissor Claw on the main. Now he can revive the two arms, so you got to make this end fast. But I think I forgot to bring a missile again. Lovely. Oh, he's also got counterattack, so watch. And it's a I can't remember if it... Go ahead. Yeah, it's a powerful counterattack, too. Alright, here we go. X Scissor Claw. 897 damage, and it's still moving. This will take care of both arms, though. Time to go full all out. I want to get one more scissor claw in. Tales. Yeah, I noticed. Then again, no, I have not noticed. I'm too busy fighting this epic battle. Alright, here comes another attack. And we're gonna interrupt it. Because here comes a light gun. And Light Gun is his strongest move. Alright, it's time to end this. For the digital world. Tsukaimon's not using his friendly fire. Seal him away with the holy arrow! And that's it. 4400 experience. And now... It's finished. The tower is done. So now we have... Gaia is no more. Or is he? Yep, things just got... really weird.
If you wanna know how I deal with difficult boss battles when you're under leveled for it. But yeah, you oh. want a massive amount of experience. Yeah, and we just we just got blue screened. It's a blue screen of death. Yep, and that's it folks. That is the end of Let's Play Digimon World 2. Thank you everybody for support and watching and paying close attention to it and commenting on it as well. Thank you very yep. thank you followers as well as YouTubers for seeing this all the way through to the end. And thank you, Numamon, for taking a bath. Yes, thank you. Now the whole digital world can become a new and better place. Alright, so I'm gonna skip the credits. And now the Matrix Gaia has been basically rebooted. Yep, so now we're diving back into actual uh, Gaia, or into the, this, this case, the digital world. So, after the reboot, we made it back and... Yep. Yep, everybody's gone. Yep, so basically it's been some time since we've last came on, and there's nobody here. Could we have been put into a proxy server? Or did he just get the date wrong? And poof. There's the guard team. Guards. There's all three guard tamer leaders. Yep, so thanks for beating Gaia. Yep, everybody, so you're the one who saved us all and the Digimon and the humans trapped in the world. Oh, plot twist right here. Yep, and guess who it is? Pause the video first before you see her. Ah, crap. We couldn't. Nope. Yep. Plot twist, everybody. Mission Chief Carol is actually the director of the actual... Gaia. Yep, she's the director for Project Gaia, which means basically... She's the head office for the IT department for Project Gaia. And everybody here, the guard tamers and the guard leaders, they're actual real personnel. Yeah, so basically they the workers became prisoners and then became a part of the guy's evolutionary program. Yep, so basically Probably gonna be egging on it, but it, this is actually pretty much a very close thing to a different uh, series that's actually out there. Everyone's safe now. The guy program has been completely deeply so. So now we're able to make a better digital world now, and this is where it actually comes to the point where several years will pass before Digimon World 3 will occur. Yep, so now we have attained Master Tamer. How ironic. Oh, and I got something to shit tell you guys as well. Try going into Coliseum after uh, beating the game. You'll, f you'll be uh, quite mad at what goes on there. Yep. Why? Well, I'm not- I don't want to spoil it now. Yep, 
So, first off, I want to get Omnimon back into my team because he kind of got thrown out. <laughs> he got yeah, thrown got out. Th he got thrown oh, out. Oh, I'm on mine. I keep running out of energy. Okay, Bahu, Omni. Where are you, Omni? And. There, he was at the bottom of the list. Figures, bottom of the barrel, the one that gets chucked out of nowhere. Very much. Not too bad too, Omni didn't even get a chance to show off his special skills, but then again that all attacking from Magna really helped. So, let's take his advice and enter back into the Coliseum. And what does Leomons have to say? Hey Omada, because of you all, the Digimon saved, well thank you, and... Try going in there. Hey, that's the research lab, authorized personnel only. What? Yep. Yep, no more Colosseum battles. It's over. But do not be <laughs> do not be alarmed. You can still battle other people with two versus two. Yep, and we can still talk to people here. And let's have a little chat with out of my way, the trade lady. So now, if you get a Skull Greymon, you get Machine Germon, which is a freebie. And that's pretty much the last tradable Digimon, pretty much. And I'm not a big fan of Machine Germon's attacks. Yep, so we're not completely done yet, sir. There's actually a few things we need to take care of before we call this closed door. So, I'm going to take a short rebreather here, and we're going to exploit the post-game. I'll see you guys in a bit.